Crikey. Nice. Okay, fellas, it looks like I've had a bit of growth spurt. Have I been on steroids? Am I taking some weird plant growth medication? Fortunately for me, not this time. In fact, I'm wearing a pair of shoes that have made me three inches taller. Sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? Well, in this video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at elevator shoes. Shoes specifically designed to give you a height boost. I've been asked by quite a lot of people in the comment section of my videos, have you tried elevator shoes? And are they worth buying if you're quite a short guy? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you what elevator shoes actually are if you're not familiar with them. And I want to show them in action so that you can judge for yourself. And I want to thank today's video sponsor, tallmenshoes.com. They've shipped me out some shoes so that I can actually try some of these things out. Because really, personally, um, I, I probably don't need elevator shoes. I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, I'm just your YouTube test dummy when it comes to this stuff. And it would be quite an expense for me to just regularly buy these shoes for a one-time use. If by the end of this video you like the sound of these shoes, then you'll find a link to the tallmenshoes.com website in the description. This isn't going to be a full review of the product. If you want to see one of them somewhere down the line, then please let me know in the comments. And I'll try and wear them enough so that I can get a bit more of a feel for these. Either way, let's talk elevator shoes. Here I've got two different shoes. We've just got a regular shoe and then also we've got one of the elevator shoes from tallmenshoes.com. I just want to show you what one of these things actually is and then the differences between this and your regular shoe. What you'll notice is that upon first glance, both of these shoes look like they essentially will boost you the same amount of height. That's because when you compare the actual heel section, it's both about the same. But the elevator shoe will actually increase your height by quite a bit more. The reason for this is because it's not just the outer sole that affects the shoe. The thing that makes the elevator shoes different is what's inside the shoe. The elevator shoe has got a couple of features that makes it a bit different from a regular shoe. One of the big differences is the insole. In most regular shoes, the insole will lie pretty flat with the base of the shoe. And as a result, when you look inside the insole, it's quite far down compared to the elevator shoe where this one doesn't run parallel to the outer sole. This one starts level, but then up towards the heel area, this one goes a lot higher. And as a result, your heel is sitting substantially further up in the shoe. And also there's a bit more structure to the insole too. It has to take a bit more pressure. And as a result, you can feel under the initial padding layer, it's quite firm. And you may be thinking, why, what's to stop me from getting my regular shoe and then just chucking a thicker insole in? Well, sure you can try it, but often it becomes a lot more uncomfortable. This is because this shoe isn't designed for the foot to be sitting further up in. If we compare the rear of both of these shoes, you'll see that the elevator shoe sits quite substantially higher than the standard shoe. This makes the shoe far more comfortable when the foot is sitting at that higher level. It gives the support where it's needed around the ankle and then at the Achilles area. And the problem when you put your foot in one of these, if you had the same insole in, is that it just doesn't have the support. I have really skinny feet and I have some quite chunky insoles anyway that I put in most shoes. And with a lot of shoes, I find my feet just being ripped to bits. And those insoles are only half the depth that the ones inside here are. And also the area around the laces, you'll find it's just angled up a bit more. This just allows your foot to sit in a natural position when the heel is raised. I've got a few interesting clips on how your height varies in different types of shoes, including the elevator shoes. In each of these clips, the camera is in exactly the same position on the same tripod. Here's me with no shoes on at all. Then here's me in a pair of really flat boat shoes, just because they're a flat option. Here's a clip of me in these regular shoes. And then here's a clip of me in the elevator shoes. And if I bring all those up alongside one another, you'll see that even with the slight distortion because of the camera lens, uh, it is a noticeable difference. I'll put my measured height on there as well in each of these shoes so you can see the difference. And I have to say, when you've got these elevator shoes on, you feel like a giant. And although I'm yet to test these for a really long period of time, in, in the short time I've worn them, actually they're a lot more comfortable than I expected. I thought that my foot would be bouncing around inside one of these things. But even with really skinny feet, I haven't had really any issues. Let me know how tall you are down in the comments section. Is this something that you'd maybe want to try? Anyway, thanks to tallmenshoes.com for teaming up with me so I can make this video. If you enjoyed it, press the like button. And if you want to see more similar style tips videos so that you can make the most of you, make sure you press the round subscribe icon just to this side here. And then I've got two more fun videos for you to watch next, just hovering down below me. So make sure you tap on one of them 
and I will see you on the next video.